Welcome Thanks. back, everybody. Happening right now, U.S. Army helicopters are in Pakistan. Why are they there? Well, there are huge floods going on in the northwest region of that country, and we've been covering this very closely here at the Foreign Desk, taking in some fresh video as it comes in. What is happening is you have these people that are stranded by these terrible monsoons, and they're really at a loss because this is the, one of the worst monsoon seasons in decades, so it's causing a lot of problems for that country. Uh, Sib Kaifi is there. He's our Fox News producer on location in Islam. Blood. And um, Sib, tell us a little bit, how is the country actually handling the situation? Hello, Jenna. Well, with the week-long rainfall flooding northwest Pakistan, killing 1,600 people, displacing and affecting an estimate 4 million, floodwaters moving south have wrecked villages in eastern Punjab province. The damage could be devastating if bloated river surge in southern Pakistan, which could leave thousands homeless. While relief organizations and army tackle emergency operations in calamity hit areas like Swat Valley, Noshera, and Charsada. Now, in Sindh, authorities say some 400 relief camps have been set up and evacuation has started. Pakistan's most impoverished people live alongside the riverbanks in this area, and roughly 150 points along the Indus are considered at risk from flooding. Now, while evacuees are praising the army, the government is being cursed for the overall response to provide relief, criticizing ministers and members of parliament of only offering false hopes in the name of relief packages. Now, the opposition political parties have subjected Pakistani President Asif Ali Zardari, currently in UK, reportedly promoting his son's entry into the political arena to an onslaught of disparagement while the nation faces a crisis. The failure of the government has left gaps being filled by hardline Islamic groups supporting flood victims and mustering donations. The U.S. being the first international responder announced $10 million in relief assistance earlier and has provided more than 400,000 in food rations. And yes, Blackhawks and Chinook choppers are also engaged. 50,000 people have been rescued. However, many are still stranded in areas either inaccessible by the Army or limitation of resources for rescue. Now, fever and disease outbreak is another obstacle as medical teams grappled to treat an incredible influx of people in relief camps encountering a shortage of medicine. Aid to evacuees is slowly reaching heavily flooded areas because of destroyed bridges and damaged roads. But further precipitation is likely to halt even that as more wet weather is expected till August 15th before the monsoon falls in a state of recession. Jenna? Yeah, Sib, just some uh, devastating pictures there. We'll continue to follow that story. Thank you so much. Sib Kaifi again from Islamabad.